doing some more decorating. Don't oh, look so shocked. I forgot to wash this stuff last night. Um, look, we're going to have Ian knock on the door complaining about the noise. Sorry. Oh, too late. Ah, uh, just send him through. I'll deal with him. I didn't expect to see any. I'm not even dressed yet. I can always come back in half an hour. No, 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 no. Come in and have me tidy the place up. It's still a bit of a mess. Oh, don't worry about it. Can't be as bad as my place. Morning. Hey, Lenny. Uh, um, this is this is uh, Anita Banks, um, the family placement worker. This is a friend, Lenny. He's um, he's helping Mark set up the stall this morning. Oh. I uh, just dropped in for breakfast, really. <laughs> Cheaper than the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> it's fruit and veg, isn't it? Mark Stoll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a seat. I'll um, get some coffee or something. Yeah, make yourself at home, Lenny. Why don't you? Um, you couldn't do us a favour. Tell Mark that Anita's here. Oh, sure. Thanks. Give us some change, please. Sure, ma'am. Settling in all right? Yeah, settling in fine. Apart from the fact that Bruce decided to unpack and decorate at the same time. But you didn't decorate that long ago. Well, that was before you and Lenny moved in. Anyway, I bet you're glad to see the back of us. So peace and quiet. I enjoyed having you around. See you later. Um, I'm sorry I didn't show you the spare room, but it's full of junk. Next time you come, we'll have sorted it out. No problem. Have you considered childcare arrangements? Um... Well, as you know, I work in the nursery at the community centre and there's a after-schools club for older kids and, well, the schools around here seem pretty good. That's fine. It's a nice house. <laughs> well, I've got a lot to do yet, but we're getting there. You should see my flat. I've been there two years. I still haven't got around to decorating it. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult when you work. You two seem to manage. Oh, look me yet. No, don't worry. I've got to go. So is there anything else that we can help you with? I think that's everything. I've seen enough. So what happens now? Well, I go back and make my report, and then we'll take it from there. So it's just a, a matter of waiting. Pray so. Afternoon. Don't you start them only 20 minutes late. Well, we're making a bit of a habit of it, aren't we? Gonna snitch to the boss. Cool, what have you done? Nothing. You might have this got bigger. Buffont springs to mind. I think Vanessa will love it. What do you mean? Your friend, um, that's what all that's for, isn't it? <laughs> it's enough. Don't have to put up with this sort of lip from you. Your car's filthy, go and clean it. And you make yourself useful, put some coffee on. <laughs> That'll be 50, please, love. Thank you. Cheers. Every time I looked round the house, there was something out of place. I I just had to get out. What could she possibly have seen that would have shown us in a bad light? Well, not being able to see Lenny's bedroom, the table covered in his breakfast things, and him acting like he owned the place. Well, what does she guess, Mark? She works for social services, not MI5. Yeah, OK. Oh, I just wish I knew what she thought yes. Do you think we said the right things? We did. You were great. She could only see good things, I'm sure. <laughs> Ruth, have we word? Yeah, sure. I just want a bit of advice. As Lucy won't be going back to the nursery, I was wondering, that, do you think there's any chance that Ben might better take her place? I don't know, Kathy. Um, I could put in a word if you want. Would you? Oh, thanks. That'd be great. Barry, will you take over for me for half an hour? Why? I want some lunch. No, sorry, mate. I've got a valeting geezer coming in to do me a deal on my cars. Missed me break. What did I tell you when I took you on? You've got to be flexible. OK, OK. A bag of crisps and a can of drink. Anything else? Yeah, get me some chocolate. A bit peckish? Yes, yeah, so hurry up. On the double, sir. Well, if you can't, you can't. I mean, no. Yeah, Monday. Same time, yeah. All right, turn on. So your cleaning guy's not coming now? Valet. He's a valet for a classier kind of car. No, he's not coming. Go and get yourself something to eat. Doesn't matter now. Hugh's getting me something. 
Sit in the dock. We'll leave it alone. If it gets out that a gormless idiot feeds major animals, we'll have every stray dog in the East End coming home. You can't just leave it. It's a funny animal rescue assignment. Tell them to get rid of it. Yeah, but why not put it down? I don't know. Ain't our problem, is it? <laughs> Go on. Get away. You happy now? No one's ever going to want that poor mongrel. Not anyone in their right mind, anyway. Well, it's a tough old world out there, isn't it? Yeah, very funny. Stop it! That's well hard! It's not him, is it? Sure it is! No. It is! It is! Where's Robbie Eaton, No. No, you can't take him! Let me get me brother, he's the owner! I'm sure it's him. Ricky, go and get Robbie, he's in the pool cabin! Of course, Mrs Green. Rent rough place. Number 43, yep. Right, we'll have someone there in half an hour. Robbie! Shh, sorry about that. The, the, we think we found Willard. What? In the square, the, the council was just about to take him away. Come on. Come on. Willard? Willard, it's him! I knew it was, I knew it! Leave him alone, he's mine, let him go! He went missing, took with the police! And the RSPCA. It's my dog. On you, Willard, come here. Oh, I knew you'd come back. I knew you'd find your way. You're a good boy. Thank you. Thanks for saving him. Was he thanking you? I can't believe they won't let him in. I'm a paying customer. Bobby, he's an elf hazard. His fleets have probably got fleets. Still not right. He's a hero. He deserves a hero's welcome. But why do I manage to get back? Because he's a brilliant dog. I knew he'd find his way back eventually. Oh, what I mean is, it's a long way, isn't it? But he's had a really wicked time. He's not exactly been on holiday, son. I mean, look at the state of him. Don't have a go at me. You know it weren't my fault. And anyway, if I hadn't have done anything, he'd have been in the back of that van and he might have ended up you know where. If it hadn't been for you... Don't you think I've apologised enough? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Come on, mate. Come well on. Good to have you back. So, is this as usual then again? What do you mean? Same dog walking rate to ply. Hey? Do you want me to look after him again? Don't mind. Sonia, who was looking after him when he went missing? From now on, well, I'll never leave my sight. I'll be looking after him. Have it your own way. Don't you worry, boy. I'll take proper care of you. Come on. <laughs> 